Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's time for our second hot topic. And this one says, Ocean Monarch expresses discomfort over... Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's time for our second hot topic. And this one says, Ocean Monarch expresses discomfort over Nigeria's preparedness for state police. Now, join me, joining me to have a conversation is Oba Adekunli Makama. Um, is a Czech Boston third Olua of Kuta in Ocean State. Good morning, Your Highness. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. Okay, so... Uh, I'm Olu, I'm Olu of Okuta, not Olua of oh, Kuta. Oh, Olu, okay, Thank I beg you. your pardon. Olu of Okuta, yeah. okay, fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Okay, so yeah. let's get right into it. Um, I mean, you had expressed discomfort and concerns <coughs> um, about, you know, the policy for state police. Um, state policing is something is the is something that has been as old as Nigeria's independence, and a lot of people have always, you know, expressed how much it would help Nigeria. Um, now, I know insecurity is a major issue in Nigeria at the moment, and we're seeing kidnapping, robbery, um, terrorism just rearing its ugly head and some people have come out to say that you know having state police might just be able to help now i'm not sure if that would help fully because there are several elements you know for the reason why um you know insecurity is just here um one element could probably be a failure of governance another would just be unemployment as well but people are saying state police might just help now you've come out to say, no, Nigeria is not prepared for that. So first, let's talk about your statement. Why you think Nigeria is not prepared for state police? Why do I think Nigeria is not? Yes, your thoughts. Can you please think, yeah, my thoughts yes. about the state police. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, the state police should have helped if we are fully prepared for it and if we as citizens are mature to work along with the norms but the way the way situation is in our country we cannot equate ourselves to the likes of the Western nations that, that have been operated state police. It has been practiced in the First Republic, and uh, we all know the sorry, the, the sorry states that led to the disbandment or that led to the the cancellation of the so-called state police policing in Nigeria. Here, state policing here, there is fear by those who have the know-how of security and policing, the fear is always that it will be politicized. One, if we are creating state police now, yeah. it's going to be people by our various youths and every state government who have absolute control of the state police. Of course, there is the state government that's going to be responsible for financing and funding of the state policing, equipping them, funding them, all the logistic provision. Maybe the training can be, they can partner with the federal policing authority for training. But logistic support, funding, will be done by the state government. Let me give you an instance. In my own, in our dear state here, Osho, mm -hmm. Osho is being ruled by People's Democratic Party. State policing, if it's been, if it's been enshrined in our constitution, 95% of people uh, that will form the basic staff of the state policing will be PDP Kakari member. Lagos State is being governed by APC. State police in Lagos will be 
will be people by 99% of APC. Then there will always be conflicts. Take for instance, if there is an election, a federal election coming. The federal authority will send the federal forces, the states, the state government who have the control of the state policy. Yeah, the state police who have advantage of knowing the terrain and their environment. Yeah. Why the federal will have advantage of being superior over them? There will always be conflicts. And if you did not do the line of the government in power in your respective states, it means you can be hunted down by the state police. It happened in the 60s, early 50s, 60s. Someone will go and hire a dead body in the mortuary and dump at your backside because you did not support the party in power. The state police will, will, will bring you and dump you at the prison. So we have not yet matured to that extent in Nigeria. A lot of, there will be a lot of grandstanding between the federal force and the state forces. A lot. And in some instances, some state government don't even have enough resources mm. to cater for the state. Now we are we are now going to drop a burden of providing for state policing on their head. Mm. Where where they are still looking forward to the federal authority to increase the the revenue and fiscal mobilization allocation to them. How do they generate the fund the funding to fund the police? Security is not cheap all over the world. Mm. So we we'll look at the politicization, we we'll look at the funding. I don't think we are prepared. If we want to do it right, we we should rather start seeing how the so-called Amotep uh, civilian JTF in the north mm. and other other civil vigilante vigilante groups are being funded. Let's look at the model that they are being funded. Well, state policing in the worst state policing is mm. capital intensive. Mm. Okay, so I'm, I mean, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm if they can find a way to insulate the system against politics, mm. how we feel. Okay, so I'm glad that you just even talked about um, the likes of Amotekon because I, I know that Amotekon is doing great work um, in the Southwest and they're just, you know, helping out now. They are not, you know, the police department, yes. but they're doing their best in the capacity that yes. they have. And um, I'm just wondering, so... Is state police not going to be something like that? Because at the end of the day, like you've rightly said, um, the, the state police definitely knows the terrain. He knows the nook and crannies of, of the state. Yes. So if anything was to happen, they know how to respond swiftly. Now, isn't there a way to go about it whereby, because I know your concern and concern of the concern of so many Nigerians as well is the fact that there might be abuse of power, especially with the state governors, because we've seen what has happened even with the local government, whereby the state governor just, you know, is still the one running the affairs, right? Um, and so people think that if state police was to happen, the state governor might just, you know, abuse that authority, really. But isn't there a way where, you know, the constitution can have um, such, you know, would I call them little, little hoops, whereby um, the state governor doesn't abuse the power? Shouldn't that happen? Because if you look at maybe yes. the, the United States of America, for instance, they have the local police. You have the NYPD, the LAPD, but then you still have the Federal Bureau of Investigation. So there is the federal one, but there's still the state one as well. And it just helps if we're looking at curbing insecurity, really. So what can we do in our constitution to ensure that these state governors do not abuse power since that's one of your concerns? Thank you very much. Yes, sir. That's what I'm telling. That's what I'm telling you. The in America, the system works. The system works. Hmm. Here, here the, our system has not been fully operationalized to work effectively. Okay. The, the, the police know their limits in America. 
But here, when you say state police, the, is, is, is the state police going to be responsible for some certain uh, number of crimes? Maybe arson, fighting, robbery, burglary, then any crime that carried capital offense will be handled by federal forces. Mm -hmm. Something like that has to be designed. Then the system has to be insulated against politics. If the system is insulated against politics and appropriate punishment is being melted out without, without looking at the particularization of whoever is operating it, I think we might get it a little bit better. Mm. And if they are going to start, take South, Southwest as a case study. They are going to start the state policing with what we have as a now. Yeah. Because that's the assistance corruption. Mm -hmm. There has nomenclature of what the state police will look like. Right. Amateku are being recruited across all local governments. All. Virtually all local governments by the state government there. So, I I think we need to insulate the system. Mm -hmm. If we insulate the system, that's irrespective of any political party. The state police must remain, and the, op the operators of the state police must always put Nigeria first. And in that case, it will be the state first. Mm. So, it, it, it is it is easier said here, yeah. but when it comes to the operationalization, just like what you pointed out, a few apart from Kaduna, no state government conducted has ever conducted local government election and the ruling party failed. No. Mm. Even in Kaduna, they never fail. They only allow opposition to have like three local or four local governments. That's the way it is. That is even with federal police. Talk less of when. You even have a state police now. It will, it will pay the paper, it takes the turn. It takes a turn, right? Yeah, but it will, it will really help if the system can be, can insulate the state police against abuse. It will help because they have the advantage of knowing the terrain. The, mm. All the operate, operators of the state police will know the looks and cranny of their environment. So for every issue, for every issue, there's all, always, you know, the pros and the cons. Um, so you have to think sure. of, you know, what are the benefits for this? So if we're looking at state police, what are the benefits? And then we also look at the cons, you know, the things that might just limit us, right? Now, the cons obviously should be something to tackle. For instance, you have, you know, talked about the abuse of power as something that would definitely raise concern and you pay the paper, you know, dictates the turn. So the state governors might just say, you know what, I am the person ruling the affairs or whatever I say, you have to follow my own bid, right? But if you're going to weigh them, do you think it's something that we should definitely look at? And how can Nigeria, you know, prepare for this? Because your statement was Nigeria is not prepared for state police at the moment. So how can we prepare ourselves? Because you've said that, you know, it works in the, in the United States of America. They have a system that works, but it doesn't really work here. If we're going to look at the peculiarities of our own nation. So how can Nigeria get prepared for state police? Because that might just be a way, maybe one way to come insecurity yeah thank you very much the easiest and fastest way for us to get there is for us as a citizen to be patriotic mm. in nature we should be patriotic at heart if we are patriotic we'll get there we should strive hard to be patriotic we know this is our country and we are having a security challenge there is no two way to it if we have a state police the advantage of state police outnumber the disadvantage. Then we should find a way to make it work. Mm. One, they should be reasonably funded. If they are reasonably funded, that will insulate them from taking bribes. Mm. And 
if they've known that their welfare has been adequately catered for, they will not, they will not be going yes. and taking bribe or any form of gratification yeah. that, will, that will damage the image of the organization. Number two, they should be adequately equipped to conform with the script challenges of modern time. Mm. Because a lot in the equipment they need goes beyond guns and uh, and, and cartridges. Yeah. No. All right. Technology. Mm -hmm. They should mm -hmm. be equipped technology, technology. Intel as well. And in the in the formation and recruitment, mm. political sentiment should be put aside. Right. Very, very key. We have we have thousands of army of unemployed qualified personnel that perform the state police mm. at inception. Mm. They are going to be the trained the trainers. We have a lot of them. Every state has a lot of human resources to deploy. All right, sir. But we should we should avoid politics yeah. if we wanted to succeed. All right. Thank you That's so where much. The, the, the nationalism should come first. Mm -hmm. Patriotism, avoid political sentiments, um, and I think we might exactly. just get there. All right. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure um, having a conversation with you, Royal Royal Highness. Your you. Royal Highness. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much. All right. It's my pleasure. Yeah. We've been speaking with Oba Adekunle Makama Tigboshun. The third is the Olowo of Akuta in Oshun State. And we've just been talking about his statement. He says Nigeria is not prepared for state police. But, you know, if we can avoid political sentiment and if we can be patriotic, we might just get there. All right, that is it on the show today. It's amazing having a breakfast with you as always. I will see you again tomorrow. My name is Romer Paulson. Have an amazing day.